what are you most afraid of in a relationship? How can I get a girl to like me? First kiss tips. Practice with the lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about the lollipop. You think? <laughs> Intimacy during the time of the month. Oh. Why do you like Gary's beard? <laughs> How long should you wait to have sex? Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Asmi and welcome to Roger and Asmi Vlogs. So today's subject, asking Filipina juicy questions. Before anything else, dagang salamat sa inyong paghigugma o pagsuporta sa aming channel. Thank you so much for your love and support guys. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell for new uploads or new videos are you ready for our juicy questions leia yeah i'm more than ready <laughs> <laughs> so let's go with the first question do girls stalk guys on social media yeah, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, of course, we do sometimes uh, out of curiosity. Sometimes, you know, we do stop guys on social media. Yes, that's just normal, I guess. If you're really curious of a guy and you really want to know more about him, so of course. Mm -hmm. It's normal. Even our ex, sometimes we have, you know, how, there's something we're curious what life, you know? But <laughs> like, uh, like other meaning to just curious about their life especially as filipina we always like you know care about other people something like that is so good it's an update like knowing an update about that person if mm. they're doing fine yeah mm, yeah next question are period cramps really that painful see there are sometimes like especially in the day first day and second day that's when it's it's really painful but after that mm, no really big deal oh i would say when I, we were young like the first time we had period that really 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 hurts but i now that we had a i had a child it's not really painful maybe it's because it's open <laughs> <laughs> it's now, tolerable i would say yeah you can mm -hmm. tolerate it, it i think i would say yes when i when i was younger it was really painful. It really hurts. But now that I have Haley, yeah, it, it, I can really tolerate the pain now. Yeah, I don't know, but that's how that's what I think. It, so because before I used to like, I even vomiting all that stick. You know, I can't even barely go to school sometimes because of the pain. Yes. So if you can rate it from one to ten, how does it hurt? right now when you already have a baby six percent maybe yeah but 6%. before like eight or nine before in, uh, so but it still depends on the woman there is some woman that maybe unhealthy something they don't eat healthy maybe that's when they get really bad uh cramps during a period okay so eight percent out of ten percent okay Eight percent when you were young, six percent now that you have your baby. Am I yeah. right? Mm, yeah, that's right. Okay. Next question is really interesting. What does "I'm fine" mean? I'm fine. <laughs> there's kind of something. There's a meaning. We sometimes uh, maybe our partner will ask, "Are you okay?" So I'm fine. So that means not okay, not so okay, right? That's yeah. why, in my opinion, that's how I am. How do you say I'm fine if you're not okay? I'm fine. Yeah, I usually say I'm fine, but when I'm, I'm really okay. It's, it's something like that. When I express it more that if I'm okay, so I'm, I'm not really okay. I would say I'm fine. Something like that. So the tone would be different. Yeah, the tone would be different if I'm not really okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next question is: Why do girls go to the bathroom in groups? To do chica chica. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes we uh, help our group you know to do makeup maybe I'll wear eyebrows or eyelashes or makeup so yeah that's what we usually do chica chica <laughs> just me yes chismis is always there if we go in the bathroom together 
Yeah, that's right. Next is, do girls like when guys are emotional? It depends. You know, of course, if it's make him cry, just a small thing, we call him gay or something. But if he's emotional because of, like, the feelings towards you or he, like, you broke up or he lost someone, of course, that's added to, you know, that's that shows that he has a, uh, what do you call it? A soft heart. A soft heart. Heart. So that's, I like that. That's added to attraction to me, in my opinion. But, like, small things that makes him emotional or cry that's i don't like <laughs> he's like a wimp yeah yes. yeah <laughs> next is does height matter height yes. um yeah yeah it is to me i don't <laughs> want data i'm already like 4 11 <laughs> i want to date guy that, you know <laughs> so yeah so god uh gave me a, <laughs> a tall guy <laughs> what is your height requirement I'm okay to just a little taller, but I'm okay as well, Gary. He's 6'3", so maybe 6 or 5'6". 5'6", 5'7"? Yeah, something like that. But Gary is 6'3", something. <laughs> He's really tall. <laughs> still Very okay. Cool. Next question. This is actually sentimental. What are you most afraid of in a relationship? There's a lot, but uh, the first on the top list is being cheated on because, you know, my, uh, I've never mentioned it before, but I'm going to mention my dad before he cheated once to my mom and I know my mom was really hurt. So when I, I was dating, that's like, that's like my biggest fear to be cheated on. I think most women that's their yes. biggest fear. Definitely. Who, who would like to be cheated? I guess most women wants their partner to be loyal if yeah. i got that how can i get a girl to like me like in your opinion what would you advise to a guy in order for them to like get a girl in the philippines um maybe to be a gentle man and uh to always be fun to be with something like that yeah i would say that like um of course gentle man because that's yeah, just for me, it's really attractive, you know, being a gentleman. Being a gentleman, that's the first step so yeah, that you that's can get. Step up. It's for me, yeah. Next is, this is one of my favorite questions. First kiss tips. What's your advice? <laughs> Maybe practice with the you practice with a lollipop. <laughs> okay, long. I don't know, but yeah, for me, maybe. <laughs> practice practice with a lollipop. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I can <laughs> How big is a lollipop, Leia? Are we talking um, about this small lollipop? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about real lollipop. You think? <laughs> I mean, that's me, the real lollipop. <laughs> oh Are we talking about the same lollipop where I'm imagining things? <laughs> yeah, I think you're talking about different lollipops. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Sorry, Gary. Next is, what the best thing a guy can do for you on a date. So maybe um, like give me a chocolate or sweet things like, you know, something like that because we are Filipina. If not expensive, like we're not materialistic, maybe me would just pick flowers from anywhere. Like, you know, <laughs> give me, and that's, you know, that makes us feel love and special. So yeah, we appreciate that. It's a thought that counts in the Philippines. Mm. Yes. Next is intimacy during the time of the month. Do you like it if he touches you or you do jug jug ah uh, uh, if you have a period? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I never have done that before. No. And <laughs> but oh, sorry again. <laughs> no, it's like it's not like it, it's disgusting. Oh, uh, for me. For other people, but to me, I this because yeah, I don't like it. I'm just being honest. Yeah, we never have that before. Yeah, oh my god, you like eating spaghetti <laughs> with meatballs. Uh, like, <laughs> like the go, the go. No, next is what do you look for a guy? 
Like, what are the characteristics that you like in a guy? Like, personality, something? Yes, it, it, like, physical and also personality. Yeah, basic uh, personality, that's, you know, we don't really look at... Like being funny to be weird, like so fun to be weird. That's really important. So we can have, a, like, we can have a vibes with. So that's really important. So maybe that's me. <laughs> <laughs> How about the physical appearance? Physical appearance to be hygienic. Yeah, that's really, uh, like, uh, you know, that's very big deal for us as Filipina. We always look. At, yeah, especially the under armpits, skirt. <laughs> you know. <laughs> First date, you suppose, yeah, if that's turned us off, right? Oh my God, that's really big deal for us. But maybe if we live together like for months and years, doesn't matter. We love the smell of our husband, even it stinks. <laughs> I don't know. The it's like, been the fart. Yeah. It's like, it's not a big deal anymore. When you love someone, you accept the, uh, what you call, the uh, I don't know what you call it, but there's a word that you can accept when you love someone. Yeah, it's true. Even you would see him farting or you would see him pooping doesn't really matter at all <laughs> funny because before we mean girl was dating every time he farted it will go over my ear but now it would just it would even point <laughs> so that's really true he would do that i don't <laughs> that's so cute next maybe, is go ahead Maybe that they're comfortable when you're living together for a long time. They just being comfortable to act, you know, show you their um, bad habits. Yeah. Something like <laughs> <laughs> Next question is: What is your favorite hairstyle in a guy? Gary's hairstyle. <laughs> Gary's hairstyle. Bald. <laughs> like Jason Staten. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess just kidding, but it doesn't matter really if he has a long hair, bald hair. it's not, uh, doesn't matter. Next is abs or no abs? Maybe, uh, I would, I don't want the, like, big, you know, Belly. too well house, <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe just fine, like, Gary doesn't have abs, it's just, it's fine, like, normal, normal. normal. Okay, next is, would it bother you if you dated someone that has many girlfriends before? Oh, no, it doesn't really matter as long as, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, in my opinion, it's not because Barry already have, like, two, you get married twice, so, you got, like, especially if you're going to date an older foreigner, so, of course, you have to expect that you already had a past or something, yes. so, you know, not a big deal. Um, that's a good answer. What is your body count, Leia? Two. Two. <laughs> Same. I o also have two. Only two. Yeah, two, but I already had one child. It's... Yeah, I was sorry, and my second child, you know what I mean? So. You were just innocent. That's it. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I count the first because it's like only a, you know. <laughs> only a <Snap>. testing. <laughs> yeah. This thing. It's... <laughs> <laughs> this thing. <laughs> Why do women spend so much time putting on makeup and looking like they didn't? Um, maybe there are some women that spend really a lot of time to do their makeup. But it de depends where we're going. But to me, I when I don't have much time, especially foreigner doesn't have a lot of patience when you know, like <laughs> as we. <laughs> They usually like when they say let's go, that you know, you go. And to me, uh, that more important is my lipstick. <laughs> That's a big deal for me. I don't care if I don't have eyebrows or you know, blush, or, as long as I have lipstick. So that usually takes a second. Yeah, I, I have friends that they cannot go outside without the lipstick. Yeah, I have two friends, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I, I cannot go outside without my eyebrows. <laughs> Yeah, Kila is not. Kila is like day bahala mamatay basta na Kila. I don't know. I I am like that before as well. Like uh, I think that's the trend of having eyebrows before. So I yeah, I always do have uh, eyebrows, but now it's not a big deal for me. Lipstick. Oh, lipstick is life's aqua. <laughs> I like to have lipstick on. Me um I seldom put lipstick on. I prefer 
like eyebrows. You see my videos, most of them are just my yeah. natural look. Yeah, but you know what? I, yeah, I like your eyebrow, even though it still looks good without eyebrows or something. That's why you like uh, to put eyebrows. That's why you, you know, if you're doing it every day, you will get used to it and you will get professional putting your eyebrows. But I usually don't know how to. <laughs> I look like Angry Birds when I do put my uh Because <laughs> you have thick brows. Me, yeah, I don't have thick brows. I have really thin brows. Very thin. Yeah. So it's usually easier when you don't have much, but if you have eyebrows already, it's kind of hard to, you know. Pluck. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. Turn offs or pet peeves? It depends. There, maybe I'd go to pet peeves. You know, there are some, but it still depends. You know, there are some types of pet peeves that really drive you crazy, but uh, I think I can deal more with it is and turn off. Pet peeves is... I would say you can manage it. Pet peeves yeah. is okay. Mm -hmm. Next is, do you like facial hair? Facial hair? Like, yeah. beard, mustache? Um, it depends. Like, I don't want the like, long. I, I've seen uh, some people have the really long. That's nasty. But yeah, like the one with Gary has, that's, I like it. Okay, yeah, beard. Why, why do you like Gary's beard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, you cannot answer that. Don't don't answer that. Don't answer. That. I already know from your laugh. So, uh, Can you look? <laughs> because it's ticklish. I know. So, just looking at it, it's, I don't know, but I am um, attracted to you know, especially yeah, when you uh, shape it. You know. Yes. <laughs> Next is, why do girls complain about wanting a nice guy, but push the nice guys away? To me, uh, there are some types of, you know, especially in the first meeting, being a nice guy, there there are some types of being a nice guy. Like, I see a red flag, you know what I mean? Yes. There, we, uh, we're afraid of maybe he's just being nice because he want, he has a bad motive or something. Yes. It usually takes time before you know a guy. Of course, most people are always nice when it at first, right? When you <laughs> first meeting them. But to me, um, so yeah, there are some types of a uh, red flag. I found a red flag. I would go to a uh, good man than too nice. You know what I mean? We are Filipina. We like uh, we are independent, but we don't want to be like uh, we want someone to be like higher like control like what i mean coke what do you call it but leader yeah, yeah something like that we don't want to be like control the house what do you you know what i mean there are some men like that like they become a wife of the house you know too much being nice <laughs> so you like a guy that is an alpha meaning yeah. you would i rather go with a good man than like too nice yeah <laughs> okay you like a guy that is in between mm, yeah something like that not too nice <laughs> just yeah just between okay next is how long should you wait to have sex like in the first meeting in a relationship what when how many years should a guy wait for you to have sex in a first meeting, you mean when you're dating? Yeah, when you're dating. Um, maybe uh, it depends. Maybe maybe he's in the USA. Like you know, you are LDR. Of course, you have to you wait. But when you're dating, of course, it's really important to spend. Uh, you know, get to know each other before you get intimacy, right? Yeah, I I don't care if you love someone, you're willing to wait. Yes, but how many weeks, years should he wait? Maybe two months something i don't know what? to us like if we're <laughs> there's sometimes a woman or you know especially there uh it's been a long time there it depends but if, of course it's really important for us to get to know each other first before you you know get intimacy but yeah in generation now this generation my god you just get <laughs> yeah but I don't know about this generation. You know what I mean? Like, just open. They're legs. hot. Mm. They're really hot. They don't yeah. really care. <laughs> they don't really. Yeah, that's right. Even now, this uh, generation, the younger, they just talk online. And when they meet, just boom, boom. <laughs> like that. 
<laughs> but uh, I use, yeah, I did, I did do, I, there, I, I know someone that they're in their first meeting, the wedding like that. <laughs> yeah. They have sex right away. Yeah, I know someone, like some of them are my friends. They're already old. <laughs> But to me, I I would say I would be honest. Like me and Gary, we uh we had online relationship like um like two months, and then we seen each other like three, and then the next time that's when yeah. <laughs> At least you have you have time to know him more before you did sex, right? Yeah, and you know what? Uh, there's are types of men that doesn't like it, like. In your first meeting, like uh, you don't have you like easy to get. It's always yeah, right to men. That yeah, so there are some men that want to get you hard, hardly not easy to get, right? Yeah. So they they like a woman that is, I would say, a a, a woman that they're trying to find is a woman that has standards. Thank you so much for watching till the end, guys. And we hope to see you in our next vlog. No hate, just love. Bye-bye.